You're going to the Iron Bowl. Congratulations. All right, thank you. Come on, let's go get this big. Coming off. Kickoff return. This Lee County man thinks he's won one of the hottest tickets in town to the Iron Bowl, but in fact he's won a trip to jail for failure to pay more than $30,000 in child support. Let's take a look at the takedown. I'm, from, uh, I'm Dennis Harrell from Lee County Sheriff's Department. We have a warrant for your arrest for child support. One after another, dads and moms wanted for failure to pay child support walked into a fake tailgate party set up by the Lee County Sheriff's Office at a vacant building. Now the parents thought they had won Iron Bowl tickets because that's what this letter sent to them by a fake fan group set up by the Sheriff's Office told them. I am now a winner of the Auburn University for two free tickets. Thank you. James Johnson couldn't wait to get his hands on the Iron Bowl tickets, but his smile quickly faded when he was told the real reason he was here. It was a different story when it came time for Alexander Pitts to be arrested. Mr. Pitts, let me introduce myself. I'm Dennis Harrell. I'm with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Yes, sir. And we have a warrant for your arrest for child support. Can you walk around for a chance, man? Well, thank you. Pitts actually thanks deputies for arresting him. And even after they find what appears to be marijuana in his pocket, Pitts still never gets upset. Mr. Pitts, do you have anything to say? No, ma'am. I'm still happy. You're still happy? Yes, ma'am. Why are you happy? You're about because to go to jail. Because guess what? What? I just pay the money and get back out of jail. That's all it takes. Okay. You know, ma'am? Do you want to say anything about not paying your child support? Do you have any reason for not doing that? No, ma'am. I don't have any reason not paying the child support because I take care of my kids anyway. And my son, now he's at my house right now, the one I pay child support for. So you can say deadbeat father or anything you want to say, but I take care of mine. Now, this man isn't going to jail for failure to pay child support, but he did pick the wrong day to use the wrong name. What's your name? Gary Jenkins. Fantastic. What do you think? Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. You see, this guy really isn't Gary Jenkins. He just assumed his brother's name in order to get the tickets. But he quickly admits to lying when the handcuffs come out. All right, hold on. Hey, hey, are you Ronald or Donald? Donald. <laughs> what are you lying for? I got my uh, brother's papers there, man. Donald, that Donald Jenkins is going to jail for giving false information. Friends, I am with uh, Lee County Sheriff's Office. I'm a deputy sheriff, and we have a warrant for child support for your arrest. There are no tickets. Oh, my God, I have my niece with after their arrest, the parents are taken by bus to the Lee County Sheriff's Office where they meet with the court administrator. They're given a choice, either pay a percentage of what they owe to their children or stay in jail until they can see a judge on Monday. The total amount in dollars of child support owed by those who have been arrested at this point is over $250,000. I want to send a message that if you haven't paid your child support, we're going to get you one way or the other. Lee County Sheriff's deputies say Operation Iron Snare has been a success, and they say they plan on doing other operations like this in the future, but they'll just have to come up with something even more creative than a ticket to the Iron Bowl. Reporting in East Alabama, Elizabeth White, WTVM News Leader 9.